Yo, what's up, guys? It's Joey Way Back When, 6217 Margate Boulevard, and the lovely Ace Hardware Plaza. of all merry christmas and happy holidays the holidays are here so we're getting excited and you can tell with my friends here at way back when so what did we do this weekend we did a lot this weekend we did uh from jumbo dollar bills that means old currencies from the 1862 to 1910s we had a guy bring in teenage mutant ninja turtles we're talking about some vintage collections in a big box loose pieces we had fun with him then we're going to talk about Having Thanksgiving with one of our family members here at Way Back When, Danny, with Chris, my kids, we enjoyed it. And we're also going to talk about our presents, our Christmas presents. So here at Way Back When, we have our Christmas presents and we have surprise mystery gifts. Stay tuned. So we had a guy come into our store, he was pretty cool, he's from up north, and he had a box of vintage loose turtles from 1988 to 1994. You know, turtles are getting very popular again, a lot of people love them because, you know, they've been around for almost 30 years plus. So you gotta look at this, so um, he was trying to make a deal with us for some sealed turtles that we have here at our store location. So I was trying to explain to him that a lot of loose turtles without their accessories doesn't give you a really true high value. So I was trying to show him what the value on each turtle was between nine to fourteen dollars a piece. Did we make a deal? Unfortunately, we didn't, but we did help him out so he could understand how he could sell them through eBay, Macari, OfferUp, even Facebook Market. So it was great to see these old vintage turtles. So our next guest came into our store and it was really unique. We had Orlando there, we had Chris there, we even had Cool Ass Dave and they were surrounding this guy because it was unusual. This gentleman had probably six to ten different jumbo sized dollar bills. These are from 1862 to almost 1912. And we're talking some, some unique ones, some rare ones too. So you had a old two dollar bill. You had, a, you had also a $10 bill, you had a $20 bill, you had a $50 bill, and he also had some cool silver bars. Now, the uniqueness of these currencies right now is that you can't find them. They're non-production. So that means that you cannot find these bills. But what you're looking at is that you're looking at these bills about this big. And you know what? He had a couple of them. Was he pricey? Yes, he was pricey. Let me tell you something. He was asking between $500 to $1,000 per bill. I tried to make a deal with them. I told them to come back so I could get a couple of them for our store. And you know what? I love looking at currency, especially the old vintage currency. Yo, 
Yo, Dave, you know what we just got today? What's that? Yo, man, this is awesome. We picked up a 1942 to 1945 German propaganda. Can I have it? As usual, you always want something. So the next guest that we had in here was cool. Um, another military memorabilia. This military memorabilia was from the 1940s to 1945, and of course, it's called, talking about World War II. That's when U.S. and Germany actually fought each other. A lot of people look at that era. A lot of people are collecting that era, and this guy brought in one of the coolest Nazi propaganda. We're gonna play Nazi propaganda. It's from Germany. It's actually a police bayonet with the frog dagger. It was pretty cool because you know what? I saw something of history and. Looking at that handle, looking at the knife, looking at the bayonet, it was great to look at this. And you know what? We do love history here at Way Back When. We're talking about military. We're talking about something 80 years ago. And you know what? I know it's a sensitive subject, but you got to understand, it's history. So you know what? It's cool to look at these things. And you know what? We can't forget our history, but we can enjoy and not repeat history. <music> Let's talk about something that was unique too that the guys also created. It was also $3 vinyl day. That means that we went outside and we put over a thousand vinyls and I don't care whether rock and roll, hip hop, gangster, I didn't care if it was country music. It was great music albums from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s. So you came into way back when, if you wanted ACDC, it was three bucks. If you wanted hip hop, if you wanted Biggie Smalls, Tupac, it was three bucks out there. It was great to see all these people going through it. And you know what, we had a success. Everybody was having fun buying vinyls. We came up with an idea here at the store and it was with all of us. All of us came up with a cool idea to give back to you. It was great to give back to collectors, to people walking into our store, and we came up with the best idea. We came up with a mystery uh, Christmas gift. And you know what? A lot of people laughed at it, but it was a success. For 10 bucks, you had a Christmas gift that was valued between $50. And it was great. We had 50 of these gifts. And it was just going off the shelf. And it was great to see moms and dads, collectors all kinds, buy these for 10 bucks. Because you would actually get three gifts in one which is a value. And it was great to see their faces opening up. They had fun. And on top of that, we came up with another crazy idea of a $90 value at 10 bucks of 10 comic books. Now we're not talking about moderns. We're talking about Silver Age, Copper. We're talking about Bronze Age. So you'll get Fantastic Fours, Amazing Spider-Mans, First Editions. And I threw something in to one lucky winner. And the best thing about it was that lucky winner had a number one Venom sign with authenticity. It was gone. So we gave away that comic book and that was the best idea that we came up with. So you actually had a comic book in one of these mystery bags or boxes that was valued at over 200 bucks. And you know what? That's what it is. Giving back to you guys and saying thank you for all the support and love that you shared in our crazy world at Way Back When. <music> So Thanksgiving was fantastic for me. I love saying fantastic, but this one was very special to me. You know, as a single dad, you know, it's very hard to, you know, you have to do the holidays with family members, especially if you have an ex-spouse. So I was excited because I finally had my kids, after four years, I had them for Thanksgiving. You know, I love my children. You know what, it was great to have them. We went to Danny's house, I made the turkey. It was great. We had Chris there. We had Danny's family there. And it was just fun to see my sons interacting with all our other family members here at Way Back When. So it was kind of special to see my boys together with me. Because you know what? It's, it's true what they say, you know? Family is very important. I mean, we all get into the roughness of other people and argue and all that. The holidays are here. Sometimes it's good to forget and forgive. So it was awesome to see my boys interact with me as well because it felt good. And especially, it was a Puerto Rican style Thanksgiving. So we're talking about turkey, pateles, we're talking about rice and beans, but it was great to have a Thanksgiving. And that's what we do. We just love giving back. So you gotta follow us. You can follow us on our Instagram at WBW Antiques. Of course, you can subscribe, follow us on our YouTube channel, which you're seeing us now. And we're gonna do something at the end of the year, which is gonna be the Big Bang. So stay tuned for those. I'm out!
If you love this channel and you want more content and you got some ideas, let me know. Trust me, trust me. There's more to way back when. Follow us, like, and share. You never know what we could do at our store. WBW Antiques on Instagram and also on YouTube, way back when Antiques and Collectibles. I'm Joey and I'm out.